Hello everybody and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 how-to video. Today is going to be the third part of a multiplayer segmented video where we're going to talk about running your own local multiplayer session. So we've got a video out there on setting up your own private dedicated server on a computer that you might happen to just have sitting around. You can run a dedicated server out of your own house. That does require you to own two copies of Farm Sim. It's not for everybody, for sure. We've also got a video out there on how to rent a dedicated server from a server provider where you can manage and have your own multiplayer entity running out there. You can run it 24-7. You can connect to it whenever. Friends can connect to it whenever. You can be on or you can be on separate together, whatever. Today, we're going to talk about creating your own local multiplayer session. It does have some downsides, but it also has some plus sides. Plus side is it doesn't cost any money. Downside is it's only up when your game is running and only when you are in the multiplayer session. So friends can connect when you're up, but if you're not up, then they can't connect at all. So this is how you set it up. Go to multiplayer. And instead of going to join game, like you would if you're going to join a dedicated server, you're going to go to create a game. And from here, you can pick an existing game save, or you can create a new game save. Now, if you create a new game save, you're going to be limited to farm manager or start from scratch. There's nothing wrong with those other than you may not want to be in Farm Manager or start from scratch, depending on the map and how it's set up. Like, for example, Elm Creek or Holt Bay Laroon. When you load up those, or even Erlingrod, when you load up those maps in Farm Manager, the main farm is void of buildings. You may not want that. You may want to load in to New Farmer in your multiplayer session. And to do that, you would first create a local save game, and then you would use the existing save game, like this one right here, to host your multiplayer session. So we're gonna to go to our save game. From here, we can select the mods that we want enabled for our multiplayer session. Now, everyone must have all of the mods on their system to connect. So for cross-play compatibility, you're going to only need to use the mods that are available for cross-play. That's where we have down here, show cross-play mods only, or show all mods. And remember, the way this is, it's backwards. If it, shows, if it says show all mods, then you're seeing cross-play mods only. If it says show cross-play mods only, then you're seeing all mods. Okay, it's a little bit confusing. But remember, for cross-play to work, they can only be mods from the Giants Mod Hub, and they can only be mods from the cross-play section of the Giants Mod Hub. So let's just pretend that we want to go ahead and activate all of these. So we can just hit select all, like that. Continue. Now we go to this multiplayer screen where we give our server a name. We can give it a password. The password will always show up in star format so we can type out a password we're not going to change the port do you want to allow cross play or not yes or no if you say no then only pc players are going to be able to connect or only ps4 players if you're on a ps4 or only xbox if you're on an xbox if you say cross play is on and you have allowed cross play only mods then a PC player, Xbox player, and a PlayStation player can all connect at the same time. Internet connection, this is where you're gonna pick the one that matches your internet connection best. It's gonna help the game establish what kind of bandwidth you have available to you. Use universal plug and play. I would just leave that off. Max players, you can set it between two to 16 on PC. I believe that that limit may be a little bit different with respect to consoles, but I'm not sure. Auto accept off or on. So what this is, is if it is set to on 
and a player joins your session, you're going to get a pop-up on your screen. It's going to say, player name wants to join. Allow or deny, basically. And you can allow. If you turn auto accept on, then they'll just join your session and you won't have to pick anything. They have multiplayer language. You go through here and pick what language you want to enable for the multiplayer session and then the various things within the session will make use of that language. Now the key takeaway is this. Only share the password with people that you want to play with on your session. I would never, ever set up a multiplayer session and have the password empty. That is, in my opinion, just asking for trouble. And then when you're done, just hit start. What it's going to do is it's going to go out there. It's going to create the multiplayer session on the Giants matchmaking servers. That is where your friends are going to find your server name and be able to then enter the password and connect to you. And then once it creates that session out there on the matchmaking server, it's now just loading up the map, just like you would any other game save. Now that we're fully loaded in, we're going to hit start. And we have loaded our single player game as a multiplayer session. Now you may notice in the top right, we have zero dollars. That's because we have to join our farm. So we double click on our farm and now we're in. And now we have to also go up here. And we are local, we are admin of the session. We are also farm manager of the session automatically. When another player joins, they're going to have to join the farm. And if you want to, you can then come into our farm management screen. It's the one with the barn and the people on it. And then you can click on their name and you can pro promote them as farm manager. Or you can just give them individual permissions to do various things on your farm. And if you also want, you can create another farm just by going to the farm screen, create a farm, give it a name. If you wanna give it a password, you can, you don't need to. Only the people that join your server or your session can join into a farm anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Give it a color, like that. And there you go. So now you have two farms. On PC, you can create up to eight farms. I don't know if there's a limit less than that, with respect to consoles. And then if you wanted, you could have your farm and your money, another friend's farm and their money. You can buy your own land, you can buy your own vehicles, you can set up contractor status between each other. And at that point, have yourself a good old fun time. Now, the key takeaway also is to remember, this is still running local on your computer. If you close the game, their session ends. They can't start back up until you start another multiplayer session. And basically you would say create game. You would find this particular save game and then start the session from there. So guys, I hope this was helpful. And like I said, it kind of rounds out all of the multiplayer videos that we have had to date. So we've had a video on how to set up a dedicated server and connect to it we've had a video on how to install and configure your own private dedicated server and then this video wraps it up with how to host your own local multiplayer session so if you've got any questions just go ahead and put them down in the comments below if there's any other video ideas that you might have for multiplayer how-to videos or just general farm sim 22 how-to videos, go ahead and put them down in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel because we're going to be putting out plenty of Farming Simulator 22 how-to content in the very near future. And then once we get that content built out, we're going to be jumping in with Farm Sim 22 map reviews. Once maps start coming out, we might be coming out with a few select Farm Sim mod videos that I have branded new and noteworthy mod reviews. And then we'll also be doing plenty of live stream and let's play videos for sure over the life of Farm Sim 22. 
So until next time, happy farming.